Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I am going to do something that's been highly requested, not only by you guys, but by close friends and a couple of family members, on what is the best type of nail polish top coat to use with, regular nail polish top coat to use with pigment powders, chrome powders, and holographic powders. Um, here I have got four different kinds of regular everyday um, polish that most people can find in their drugstore, Walmart, Target, um, you can even buy these online. Um, this is going to be my out the door matte top coat because I have heard a couple of people say that even once it's dry, you can kind of buff it into the top and then easily put a layer of gel, uh, regular pop coat on the top and it's still going to look beautiful. Um, this is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Top Coat. You can get this anywhere. Um, I think everybody has a bottle in their cabinet. This is the Sesh Vite Gel Effects Top Coat and then just the Dollar Store Polish Top Coat um, Pure Ice or on the run quick dry formula it's not so quick dry in my opinion because I'm used to this drying up in like 30 seconds to a minute so I also have a couple of different kinds of applicators the little eyeshadow applicator obviously that they send you with it and then this is just a torn up piece of like a spongy foam for your face that I tend to think works really good and then it also won't smear the slightly uh, tacky top coat that we're going to try to be smooshing these into. So without further ado or blah blah blabbing, I'm going to actually start out with um, the out the door uh, INM black black. <laughs> I said black because the bottle is black. Matte top coat. It actually says right on the bottle, shake it up. And I think that's because the mattifying pieces in there is going to help uh, smooth things away. So don't mind my little bit of a cut. I was uh, doing some intensive things this weekend. All right. So let's just start with a generous taupe top. Oh my gosh. You guys, it's like even not even early in the morning, a generous coat of this matte top coat. And I don't know if it sets up super quick or super fast, but um, we will see. It already feels kind of, uh, kind of dry. I am also going to go in, because I know this takes a little while to sit, the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Top Coat. I'm going to put that on the next finger. That's already starting to look kind of mattified. Let's put a nice helping of coat on this. And I like their wide, fat brushes, man. Look at how cool that is. That is amazing. Up out of the way for you. And let's just take our little eyeshadow applicator and dip it in our powder here and see how well this goes on. So this feels completely dry. It feels kind of like I'm buffing in... Um, another a different powder actually this doesn't look too bad once it goes on the nail obviously it's not going to be super shiny but for how opaque it is I can actually see it on there and I'm just gently kind of trying to buff in and kind of press into this top coat huh we'll have to wait a little bit maybe that sets in or sets up I'm just gonna kind of try to dab this a little Ooh, we have a lot of transfer, but I still see quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of hollow on there. It's not shiny yet, but we're gonna see. So this next one is tacky. So I'm gonna use this again and see this is the miracle gel and see if I can just gently rub and press into this. Okay, already I can tell you. Ooh, I smeared it a little. Oh, I smeared a little. I didn't wait long enough on the sides. Um, that this looks pretty good on the spots that are set and kind of tacky. This looks really, really nice. Almost like, uh, almost like a chrome. Wow. Everything's going to look, uh, the big test is going to be to put a top coat on it. A <laughs> non-gel top coat. All right, so I'm going to move over to the Sechevite gel effect or... Yeah, gel effects top coat um, and see how this one goes. Now this one sets up real quickly, but it's also super sticky, so I'm gonna use the sponge for that one. And we're gonna nice smear in a nice heavy thick layer all the way up to the cuticles. I'm gonna clean off around the cuticles because I tend to be very messy with this one and I don't know why. There's no actual good excuse for me. Wow, this one shines really nice. This is uh actually really shiny. <laughs> I'm super surprised. I should have waited a little while longer for the side, but we're going to see here in a minute. 
I'm going to take this uh, side of the spongy torn sponge, get a nice little uh, dab on there, and we're going to see how this works. Okay, all right. This looks uh, looks more like a var uh, varnished glitter right now. And it is a little tacky, but not too much is stuck onto our little top here. It is a little sticky. So I'm just going to give this a little flip and try again. Just a little bit on the sponge, not a whole bunch. We don't want to waste. And let's just kind of press. I don't really want to smooth with this one because it is very, very sticky until it is set. That looks much more like a varnish glitter, but it does seem to have more opacity than the first one. All right, to finish off our uh, foursome here, I'm going to use the Pure Ice. And this is a dollar store polish. Not a huge fan of this polish, but I have had more comments from this polish than I have any other top coat. Um, people really, really seem to like it. I think it's because it does perform really well as a top coat, and it's from the dollar store, so you can't really go wrong. Okay, now I know this takes a while to dry. I'm sorry, I'm very focused over here. Um, things have kind of switched around for me again, so I'm having a hard time keeping up. Let's just put the cap back on this one. I always end up spilling my nail polishes off camera, and I'm like, uh, should I fix that and ruin the video? <laughs> Whatever. So on the drier side of this, I think I am going to try to use this. It's tacky, but it's not pulling away. If you know what I mean, it's not pooling anymore. It's only leaving just a touch of an imprint. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a little boop in the powder and press this on the nail. So this looks a little shinier than uh, the other top coat. This looks more like um, the gel effects or the Miracle Gel top coat. This is my only, also my only extended fingernail on this side. Okay, I can super see uh, the dual chrome in this. Now here comes the real test. I am going to use the... Actually, no, let me use the Miracle Gel Top Coat to coat everything off because I don't want the matte and this is one of my favorites for just getting it on there and showing it off. So now I'm going to top coat gently with a helping amount of polish on my brush, the matte INM Matte Top Coat M with the gel, uh, with the powder. All right, so that kind of shined it up a little bit. Um, definitely not holographic, uh, definitely not dual chrome, very light, but still gives it kind of an effect. Let's try this over itself, the Miracle Gel Top Coat. Wow, okay, so that didn't take it off near as bad as what I thought. That is, if I can get this in uh, focus, not near as bad as I thought it was going to be. That really didn't uh, run. I don't have a lot of excess on my polish brush. Now let's try the gel effects. That really does look like a varnished glitter. This does not look like the powder at all. See, this kind of looks like the powder because it's nice and shiny, um, nice and chromey, and this looks more of like a varnished glitter. Still not bad, still a beautiful look, and to be perfectly honest, the only one I really see a super hollow shift in. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this has a very nice hollow shift. Now let's cover up the On The Run by Pure Ice with some top coat and see what our finished results for that is. All right, so overall I'm not too uh, unhappy with that. It did catch in some spots and not in others, but uh, not too bad for a uh, regular dollar store polish. Um, which one of these guys do you think worked out best? I obviously think that the gel effects, um, obviously you need a much smoother coat, looks the best, but the uh, gel effects had, the Sesh Vite had a much better um, payoff as per how much uh, powder it grabbed. So overall, this uh, looks kind of messy together, but I'm pleased with the outcome. Let me know which one you think works best. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try to remember to put links to all of these polishes down below. And um, I will try to remember which company I got this awesome holographic dual chrome powder from. I love you guys. As always, please make sure to check out my channel uh, on a weekly slash bi-weekly basis for more videos. I love you and I will talk to you soon.